Hello everyone. Today I will explain about uh, worst fit algorithm. Uh, before I start, I would like to explain about uh, what is a worst fit. Worst fit is the memory manager places a process in the largest block of unallocated memory available. The idea is that its placement will create the largest hole after the allocations, thus increasing the possibility that compared to best fit, another process can use the remaining space. Using the same example as above, worst fit will allocate, will allocate the processes to the process, leaving a, a block for future use. So let's start for the example. Okay, for the processor one, we have a 240k byte. Uh, process one uh, will go directly to the largest block, which is 860k. So, process one will go here. Next, we have process two with 650k will go directly to the largest, uh, next largest, second largest, which is the 740k. The third process is 150k, so we'll go directly to the third largest uh, memory block, which is the 600k. Okay, so we have used process 1, process 2, and process 3. So the remaining are the remaining is process 4. Process 4 have 800k, which in the block it's uh, sufficient. We cannot we cannot uh, get the process 4 into the memory block. So we will leave the process 4 there. So that is worth speed. Thank you. Okay, next we will proceed with the best fit. Best fit is the allocator places a process in the smallest block of an allocated memory in which it will fit. Alright, we have four processes which is P1, P2, P3 and P4. First, we will go to P1. P1 can fit at 250k, 600k, 700k. 740k and 860k. Alright. P1 for the best fit, it will go to the smallest. So it will go to 240k. P1. Alright. For process 2, it can only fit at 740k and 860k. So process 2 will go straight away to 740k. Okay, which is the smallest that can be fit. Next, process 3 can fit only 600k and 860k. So, it will fit at 600k. And lastly, P4 will automatically go to 860k. That's all. Thank you. Next, you'll be shown how to satisfy a request of a size from a list of free holes by using first feed. The important thing that you have to know about first feed that it allocates the first hole that is big enough. These are the free holes that we are talking about and these are the size of the processes that we have to try to fit in the free holes. So first, take process 1, which is 240k in size, and try to fit in the first hole, which is 140k. We know that 240k cannot be fit in 140k hole, so proceed to the next hole which is 250k. We know that 240k can fit in the 250k hole. So process 1 belong here. Next, 
take P2, which has 650k in size, and take to the first block again, which has 140k in size. We know that 650k cannot fit in the 140k, so proceed to the next block, which is 600k. We know that P2 also cannot fit in this hole, so proceed to the next hole, which holds the 740k in size. We know that P2 belongs here. Next, take P3 which has 150k in size and take it again to the first block here. And we know that P3 also cannot fit in this hole. So, P3 must belong to this hole, which has 600k in size. So for the last one, process 4, which holds 800k size, take to the last hole, as the first hole um, is small in size. So automatically P4 belongs here. So these are the answer for first week. Thank you.